Hey everybody, this is Ashton and Jordan from Show Me Vegas. Did you know that in our travels to Las Vegas, we've eaten at more than a hundred different restaurants? Didn't know the exact number, but I believe it by how many times we've been there, because it's honestly one of our favorite things to do. Absolutely. So in this video, we thought we'd put together a list of restaurants you should be eating at in Las Vegas if you haven't already. restaurant on our list is the Golden Steer. I love vintage Vegas and it doesn't get much more vintage than the Golden Steer. Opening its doors in 1958, it has been in the same location for 65 years. So when you first walk into the Golden Steer, what you'll notice right away is exactly how vintage it feels. It's very low lit, romantic and a great atmosphere. Over the years, it's had a number of famous guests, including the Rat Pack and Marilyn Monroe. In fact, each booth is named after a celebrity who used to frequent there. So the menu is classic steakhouse, and obviously the steaks are phenomenal. But the one thing that you gotta try when you go there is the Australian lobster tail. This thing is huge. So something else that we would recommend is the Caesar salad prepared table side. It's a really cool experience watching the waiter prepare all the fresh ingredients and honestly the salad is fantastic. So something else that they do prepare table side is going to be the Cherry's Jubilee and the Bananas Foster. We've actually only seen tables getting this because quite honestly we are so full by the end of it that we can't even fit dessert. So if you are looking for a classic Las Vegas steakhouse with a really awesome vintage feel, you cannot go wrong with the Golden Steer. So next up on our list is more than just a restaurant, it's actually our favorite dinner experience that we've ever had in Las Vegas, and we're talking about the Mayfair Supper Club at the Bellagio. The Mayfair Supper Club is literally dinner and a show all wrapped up into one. It's got an awesome environment that's reminiscent of an old jazz club, a beautiful dining room overlooking the Bellagio Fountains, and the entertainment is even better than the food. Now it's been a couple of years since we ate at the Mayfair Supper Club and the menu has changed quite a bit, but some of the things they're known for are their steaks, their lobster thermidor, and if we could recommend one thing that's still on the menu since we've been there, it was the spicy tuna roll. Believe it or not, the sushi on their appetizers list is absolutely phenomenal. One of the best sushi rolls we've ever eaten was that spicy tuna roll. Get that as a starter and you won't be disappointed. Now, as I mentioned, there's obviously a show going on while you're dining at the Mayfair Supper Club. So you can be seated in the main dining room or you can be seated kind of behind the stage, but have an awesome view of the Bellagio Fountains. We were seated at a window table and we had a perfect view of the fountains every time they went off every 15 minutes throughout our dinner. We didn't know what to look at the show or the fountains. So we just went back and forth and it was awesome. Now, like with the others on this list, this restaurant is pretty pricey, but take into account you're getting dinner and a show. You're probably going to spend anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours at this restaurant. If you want to see a little bit more about our experience at the Mayfair Supper Club, we did make a video about this. I'll drop the link in the description down below. So if you're looking for more than just dinner on the strip and you want a memorable experience that's perfect for a special occasion, you absolutely cannot go wrong with the Mayfair Supper Club. Next on our list is my favorite downtown restaurant, Oscars at the Plaza. So fun fact, in case you didn't know, Oscars is actually named after Oscar Goodman, who was the longtime mayor of Las Vegas. 
And a little other known fact is that his wife is the current mayor of Las Vegas. So one of the first things that you'll notice when you walk into Oscars is first off, the beautiful view. It's got a full glass dining room looking out towards Fremont Street. And quite honestly, you just cannot beat the view. It's also got that really cool vintage Vegas vibe. And just in case you've seen the movie Casino with Robert De Niro, you actually have seen Oscars before because it was featured in that movie. So at Oscars, one thing that has been certainly consistent is the service. The service has always been top notch, phenomenal, and I can't say good enough things about it. So I know that Oscars is considered a steakhouse, but in all honesty, one of my favorite things there is the scallops. I've ordered these every time I've been there and I have never been disappointed. So something else that we would recommend is the lobster bisque. You're talking full body, creamy, and it's a big portion. We actually split that as an appetizer before our meal. And another thing that is also a little different is the beet salad. It's great, it's super fresh, it's light, and I don't even like beets, and I love this salad. So something else to keep in mind is Oscars also has a fantastic happy hour. The two drinks that I would take advantage of is going to be their wine because quite honestly their pours are huge. The cocktail that Jordan has really enjoyed is called His Honor and it's actually an ode to Oscar Goodman himself. It is literally a Bombay Sapphire Gin shaken with a jalapeno spear. So as if the glass dome dining room wasn't cool enough, they are actually currently in the midst of building an outdoor patio, which is also going to have phenomenal views. And I believe it's supposed to seat over 200 people. So if you're looking for a great restaurant downtown, Oscars is our recommendation. Next up on the list is one of the newer steakhouses on the Las Vegas Strip. It's Bugsy and Meyer Steakhouse at the Flamingo. Now, if you're familiar with the Flamingo, you know it opened in 1946 and it was owned by Bugsy Siegel. This steakhouse pays homage to Bugsy Siegel and Meyer Lansky. It has a great vintage Vegas vibe. The dining room is actually broken up into several different areas, some of which are actually kind of open to the casino and others that are more tucked away and romantic. When we ate at Bugsy and Myers, the service was absolutely phenomenal and the menu is right on point. The steaks are great. A couple of things we would recommend, the Cadillac, that's an appetizer, a seafood appetizer that has three different items. Right, we've got shrimp cocktail. The shrimp are huge. They are massive. Half lobster tail already shelled for us. I forgot what he said, the, what's in that sauce there, type of aioli. And then we've got a crab remoulade. Yeah. It was tossed in a, in a remoulade with uh, avocado, avocado, mousse. avocado mousse. The rib cap as well was really good. The cocktails at Bugsy and Myers are absolutely outstanding. Have yourself a couple of cocktails and you won't regret it. Speaking of cocktails, they also have a speakeasy at the back of the steakhouse. It's known as the Count Room. If you do want to see more about our experience at Bugsy and Myers, we did make a full video about that dinner as well. That link can be found in the description below. So if you're looking for a great steakhouse centrally located on the Las Vegas Strip that you probably haven't been to before, Bugsy and Myers is a great option. So next on our list is Carbone. So Carbone is an Italian restaurant, and quite honestly, probably our favorite Italian restaurant that we've ever tried. It is glamorous, it is sexy, and quite honestly, the service you cannot beat. In fact, the waiters are way more than waiters and waitresses. They are your guide through the menu, and really your personal best friend throughout the evening. So the menu is classic Italian with a heavy emphasis on seafood. In fact, one of my favorite, I think, dinners that I've ever had in Vegas occurred here, and that was the Dover Piccata, which was deboned tableside, and it was literally melt in your mouth. It's served at market price, but let me tell you, don't worry about market price, just order it. Yeah. 
another thing that I would recommend that you get is the prosciutto and fresh mozzarella that is also served table side. When I say fresh, it is house made, it is wonderful. We also really enjoyed the wine list and the cocktail menu, which took a lot of classic cocktails and put their own spin on, which we really enjoyed. So you can find Carbone at Aria, and quite honestly, if you're wanting to eat there, I would recommend that you make reservations well in advance because it is high in demand. Now this restaurant is a little bit on the pricey side, but if you're looking for a great Italian restaurant with an awesome experience, you cannot go wrong with Carbone. So that's our list of five great restaurant options in Las Vegas we think you should be dining at, but we would be remiss if we didn't throw in a couple of honorable mentions. Our favorite Mexican restaurant on the Las Vegas Strip is without a doubt Javier's at Aria. It's a great upscale Mexican restaurant right on the heart of the casino floor at Aria. But if you're not looking for a full meal, stop in there for happy hour, get a jalapeno margarita or a cucumber margarita and just watch the gaming action. Another restaurant we really enjoyed in Las Vegas was Batista's Hole in the Wall. Now listen, this is not a gourmet Italian experience, but it has been there for 50 years. It's right behind the Stage Door Casino on Flamingo Road, and it is such a cool vibe. It's pretty affordable as well. Like I said, it's not gourmet by any means. The food is just pretty good, but the atmosphere is really neat, and it's an experience you won't soon forget. Finally, another one of our favorite vintage Las Vegas restaurants is the Pepper Mill. I'm sure you've heard of the Pepper Mill. We've been there a couple of times. Again, this is not a gourmet experience whatsoever, but they have huge portions. It's really just a diner, but it's an awesome vintage Vegas feel, also featured in the movie Casino. So that's our list, not exactly of the top restaurants in Las Vegas, but some of the most memorable experiences we've had in Las Vegas. These are places we would recommend for you, and these are places we have gone back to or would go back to in the future. So what's your favorite restaurant? Comment below, let us know what your favorite dining experience is in Las Vegas. Is it some of the same? Is it something different? Let us know. Absolutely. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as well. It's absolutely free and it helps our channel out tremendously. Also, when you subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you get notified when we drop new videos. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you in the next one because there's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas. Bye, guys.